Hello, people. I am Jabby Kuwait. <laughs> you weren't ready. <laughs> Sorry, I smiled. Get into the influencer attitude. <laughs> Joined by Carolina Sophia. Hello. Who, who, you I, literally I must think, told me to say hello. I must be super stinky because you keep leaning away from me. Oh no! It's every just, minute, like, I just move hello, a lot. I'm Carolina Sophia Quintanilla. Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuwait. Joined by Carolina Sophia. Hello. And we're gonna look at uh, two different trailers to Bram. We're gonna look at the official teaser, which has subtitles, and then we're gonna look at the official trailer, which has subtitles on IGTV from Kalki's uh, Instagram account. Let's look at the uh, Instagram trailer. It's creepy. Do you look like you mean it's Kapupele de Kai? She has murdered two people. Mary Ben missing here. If I tell you that she was just a girl who was looking at a girl, she will be my mind. She will be my mind. Okay, wow. Um, well, I've never seen uh, Kalki Kekla do a, uh, a horror movie before or anything like in this genre, so this is n new as far as I can tell for her. What do you think? This is something that I like about horror movies for the most part is they don't really tell you exactly what's gonna happen. Right. Like you don't know how it's gonna end because most movies you do. Mm -hmm. You know there's a happy ending or you know what's gonna come and here I have no idea. I like that it doesn't seem like it's the cheesy type you know, mm -hmm. I like being actually scared, not being like, oh my god, this is ridiculous. So I feel like I'm gonna be really scared if I watch this. So That's I'm good. excited. All right, we should watch it. It's super creepy. It's got a lot of the classic tropes of horror films. Like it takes place in the middle of nowhere. It's like uh, surrounded by trees. Right. And there are religious, uh, I don't know if you call it iconography, like, you know, religious related stuff that's kind of informing some of the creepy stuff that's happening. I think one of the things that is scariest of all is what Kalki's character is going through where she, she can't tell if it's real or not. I feel like that's one of the scariest things possible is if you're seeing stuff that no one else can see, it makes you feel insane. You will feel like you're losing your mind. I feel like that's one of the most messed up things you can do to somebody. Can you imagine how people were feeling during the uh, Yanni and Laura or Laurel thing? <laughs> Like, yeah, because like, I was there. I experienced it. Like, it says Laurel. It doesn't say Yanni. Why are you hearing that? You're making me crazy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It was like, are people playing me? Because I heard Laurel. And yeah. I was like, ya Yanni? Was that it? Yeah. Yanni? Yanni? That's not a thing. Like, how can you how can you say that that's what it says? That's impossible. Yeah. And I felt crazy, too. Right. And that's just that. That's just a sound, right? 
Where here, it's like, she's actually seeing things that aren't there. Who knows? <laughs> I was about to make an assumption, but who knows? Like, I'm led to believe that she's actually seeing spirits there. Otherwise, what's the point of the movie? She's seeing things there, and the people around her don't believe her. And they want to, I guess, exercise that from her, I'm guessing? Or she needs help, right? I don't know. I think these are the kinds of movies that always like take the weirdest twist and you're like, I never saw that coming. Like who knows if maybe they're in on it. Who, I don't know, maybe. Maybe this that would is- be terrible. That would be terrible, but that's kind of the point. I mean, I don't know. I'm low key terrified already. <laughs> you're low key terrified. Like I'm like, mm, <laughs> it's okay. You're, it's, you're chill, like it's just a movie. Yeah. I'm not scared. I'm yes, I am. I, I, I'm glad that you you have that sort of delineation in like the way you view things. Cause like for me, I generally just don't get scared. But there were some things here that were very small that made me uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't normally get scared watching horror movies in general. I will get uncomfortable with certain things, especially if it relates to an actual fear that I have. For instance, drowning. She gets stuck in the bathtub and I remember being in one of those like uh, uh, childcare programs for during the summer. I forget what they call them, but like your parents can't take care of you during the day. So mm -hmm. they send you to these things like daycare is right. basically what it's called. And I remember going to a public pool with this group of kids and there was this kid who was much older than me next to me. I, I'm on the part where my feet can't touch the ground. I'm too short at that while well, I was a kid. And he stuck my head in the water and just kept me there. And it was like, I couldn't let go of the wall because I would just go under and drown. I was I had, had no confidence in swimming, but like that stuck with me, it left a mark. That notion, that feeling like I might drown right now and die. Yeah. And so when I saw her under the water being held there, that just like freaks me out, that idea. Like, yeah, it does make you uncomfortable watching it. And for me, I'm not the type to be like, I'm gonna go home and now think that there are spirits or like, you know how some people just get so freaked out, they're like, leave the lights on when they get home on, or like, they're like, oh my God, what if there's a spirit here? They start believing these things. I don't do that, but it's like in the moment, I will scream like a little girl. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's acceptable. Yeah. It would be unacceptable if Jabby screamed like a little girl. No, it would be acceptable. I think, look at that, that's terrifying. The water thing? Yeah. The truth be told, like, even when I see people like in certain movies where, okay, like the pool cover comes over and they can't get out, like, Ugh, it just like, it's so unsettling that notion of like, you realize you're about to die and there's nothing you can do. And you're trying for dear life to hold on with whatever lung capacity you've got left. And it's just not, yeah. All this anxiety. My mom's always like, why do you go watch those things? Like, why do you do that to yourself? Why do you enjoy movies that make you just like, just so tense? And I'm like, I don't know, but I do. I actually got the opportunity to interview her, Kalki, and she is a wonderful, wonderful actress. I mean, at least, from where I'm standing, from my perspective, everything I've watched her in, I like the choices she makes. I think that she's a very talented uh, individual. That alone has me interested. Even if, even though I'm not into the horror genre, you know, knowing that she's participating in this makes me way more inclined to watch it because I trust the choices that she makes, and I know that she's very uh, particular with the projects she chooses. So you're gonna sit down and just take it—the drowning part. You're just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna deal you're, with it. You're gonna do that to yourself. Okay. Well. Yeah. You gotta. Uh, That's off to you. What's, what's also funny is though, watching the two commercials, I couldn't tell from the first one that she was like l potentially losing her mind. Do you remember that Johnny Depp movie that almost no one watched where he's a writer trapped in the woods? Like not trapped in the woods, but he's, he's in this house in the middle of nowhere and like he's haunted by different stuff like scary. I don't what's forget it. I forgot the name of them. I would have just said it if I remembered okay, the sorry. name. I Thanks for like, challenging me. No, no, no. I'm Trivia like, Hollywood over uh, here. <laughs> I'm like, have I seen yeah. it? I don't know. I forgot the name of it, but it's a it's a Johnny Depp movie. And the thing about it is in that film, it seemed like there were things actually like messing with him. And that's what I gleam from the first teaser. But in the second one, it gives you a completely different perspective. Like maybe there's there's nothing there at all because no one else sees it. So maybe it's not there at all. And maybe it's a situation like, a beautiful mind. They're gonna put electrodes on her head, try to shock the crazy out of her. Maybe. Try to shock the crazy out of your system. Maybe I need that too. What, <laughs> what happened? Maybe you're, I need to be the you're, shock. Are you, oh, because you're, you're a lady in LA. All LA ladies are crazy? I'm somewhat crazy. Where were you born? Puerto Rico. Yeah, that makes sense. We're all crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Puerto Ricans are nuts. No, I'm kidding. I actually have only met one other Puerto Rican in my entire life, so. Was she crazy? She was interesting. But anyway, <laughs> um, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed that reaction. Be sure to check out Carolina Sofia on the social media. She's over there 
waiting for you to hit that follow, hit that like, hit the comment, leave a comment, hit the reply to when she replies to your comment. Exactly. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we have to end it. Okay, so you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. 